and welcome to the special edition of Panet Presents. I'm your host, Laura Marin. And in this episode, we bring you the Long Beach mayoral candidates. With Mayor Robert Garcia leaving, we have an array of candidates vying for top position in our great city. And here at PadNet, we have invited all of them to share with you, the voters, who they are and their vision for the future of Long Beach. This show was created to help inform you about the upcoming primary election this June 7th. Each candidate will share a statement and answer a question posed by the Long Beach community. In no particular order, here are your candidates for mayor. Hello, I'm Deb Moser, and I'm honored to introduce myself as the candidate for change in the status quo. I'm a single mother with two children in college, a longtime Long Beach resident, activist, and businesswoman with over 30 years public sector experience and a lifetime of commitment to excellence. So why am I running, and how do my qualifications make me the best candidate? As mayor, I'll be responsible for managing the city's $3 billion budget. I've previously managed portfolios over $5 billion, so I understand the complexities and nuances of large numbers, and I'm going to be able to start day one. There are other candidates in the same lane vying for keep the status quo the same. I'm different. I'm vying for the lane of the voter that wants a different approach, a new and improved way to look at the city's resources and fix problems. The status quo has been trying to solve the same problems for years. Homelessness, public safety, parking, infrastructure, crime and pollution. It's time for a new approach. I will be a much needed ambassador for Long Beach and I will advocate for the city at the local, state, and federal levels. I will, it, I will attract business, investment, and entrepreneurship. A vote for Deb Moser means a vote for accountability and transparency. A vote for Deb Moser means a vote to take Long Beach to the next level and have her tremendous resources benefit the people. I don't believe that the problem of homelessness in Long Beach is due to increased rent or that that increased rent is necessarily resulting from the pandemic. I think it's poor city planning, uh, poor ability to develop neighborhoods and communities that have liv livable rents for the people that live in Long Beach. I would do the first 100 days, I would try to tackle this problem immediately and try to find real common sense solutions to the actual problems that exist in Long Beach. Hello, my name is Raul Cedillo and I'm running for mayor of Long Beach. After the murder of George Floyd, many people took to the streets in a peaceful protest to demonstrate solidarity against racism and police violence. Today in Long Beach, however, not much has been done to address these concerns of our citizens. In fact, our city continues to pour in hundreds of millions of dollars into policing, and this is something that has a negative impact in the communities of color, a community that is actually close to 75% of the population of the city. Many families today, they live in fear. They live in poverty, in bad health, that's been brought on by the city pollution. All of these things need to change. Our city's budget needs to prioritize and reflect a love for the people of Long Beach. How do we do that? we invest in the needs of the people. This includes investments in education, career training, affordable housing, job creation, free public transit, just to name a few. We will uplift the downtrodden and defend the oppressed. John Lennon once said, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope you'll join me this election and vote Raul Cedillo for mayor of Long Beach. Thank you so much and God bless. Housing and rental costs have risen considerably in Long Beach, contributing to gentrification and homelessness in our city. In my first 100 days in office, we will legislate tenant protection laws, the right to counsel, the right to organize. We will also create a comprehensive wage increase law that will factor in the cost of living and the rise of inflation. 
giving power back to the people where it belongs. Imagine we lived in a city where our most recognizable tourist attraction was sinking. It needed nearly $300 million in a bailout. The city auditor was sleeping at the will, if not cheating. Schools were shrinking because parents can't afford to raise their children there. And parking was so bad that families parked blocks from home, toting groceries and children to the front door and pray that in the morning they don't have a ticket they can't afford. We don't have to imagine any of that. We live it every day. The problems we face in Long Beach, they can't be solved by a politician. It's going to take a political outsider who's local and cares enough to put it all on the line and shake things up. Well, I'm that guy. But a nice enough guy isn't the mayor you deserve. You deserve a mayor who won't only promise to listen to you, but who has no choice but to keep the promises he makes to you. My top opponents, they don't have to listen to you or keep promises. As long as they do the bidding of the big money and special interests that pay for their elections, then their seat is safe. That's how it's always worked here in Long Beach. But it's not how to work with me. I'll have to listen to you because there'll be no special interest for me to hide behind. There'll be no big money to shield me from the voice of the people. You see, there are two ways to win an election in Long Beach. There's money power or people power. Money power, it always leaves the people out. But people power, well, that's just, fair, and decent. Am I a Democrat? No. Am I a Republican? No. I'm an independent, and like you, I like to think for myself. Like you, I know that common sense answers for Long Beach can't be found in a political party, but must be hard won through a selfless and righteous political shakeup. I'm that shakeup. My name's Franklin, and I'm not asking you to vote for me. I'm asking whether you're finally ready to vote for yourselves. This is your city, and your mayor ought to have the decency to give it back to you. Now, I've got to be honest with you, rents are rising in Long Beach not because of the pandemic, but because elected officials have thrown locals under the bus in exchange for political donations. The largest donations from greedy developers that are driving up prices were made to the mayor's office. So on day one of my election, Long Beach families will have a mayor at the negotiation table with developers who hasn't sold out. One thing you can count on is I'm going to fight for you. Hello residents of Long Beach, my name is Joshua Rodriguez. I'm running for mayor. I am a family man, a Marine Corps veteran, a police officer. I serve the public and will continue to serve the public. My platform is simple. Poli uh, public safety, homelessness, infrastructure, and transparency. All these things vital to the city's role. I have a simple question for you. Are you happy with the city government? Are you happy with the city officials? If the answer is no, I recommend looking into my campaign and voting for me. With public safety, we are down 250 officers. We're supposed to be at 1,000. We need to utilize the, the employees of the city to report crimes to get faster police response with the police officers we have right now. We need to add lighting throughout the city in the dark areas. No one should be getting hit by cars. With homelessness, this is a task that's too big for all of us to handle. We need to tap on the shoulders of the, the state government and the federal government as we already allocated money as taxpayers to fix these issues. So we need to triage these homeless and find them homes and shelters immediately, and we can't do this on our own. With transparency, I want to account for every single dollar and hold myself accountable to you, the voter. And what does that mean? I put every investment of that I am in on the public website at all times. My salary will always be on the public website. No private meetings with any lobbyist, with any developer, without public view. With infrastructure, we need to fix our broken waterways. We need to clear the debris from the LA River and stop the pollution and hold the cities accountable that pollute our areas. Fix our streets and fix the alleys. That is the job of our government. Please consider voting for me. The city has a vital role in this. We need to develop the land, build the apartments, and any of the empty lots that we can. We need to incentivize developers to come back to Long Beach and feel safe. The city has $6 million still in relief funds the last time I checked. We need to get people notified and advertise better as a city to get these people the resources that they need, the landlords and the residents and the renters, the money that they need to stay inside their homes. We don't need anyone evicted. 
Hi, I'm Long Beach Vice Mayor Rex Richardson. In Long Beach, we take care of one another. We're a city where all are welcome and everyone can make a difference. Growing up, my family faced adversity. I was raised by a proud single mom and we moved around a lot where she could find work. I was amongst the first in my family to go to college and became a community organizer to help families like mine access the resources that they need to thrive. As our vice mayor, I've spent every day making our city a better place for all of our families. I've tackled Long Beach's biggest challenges and delivered results. As mayor, I'll make City Hall more responsive to all of our needs. That's what I've done as North Long Beach's council member. I work to restore vital public safety services, reducing the response times it takes for emergency workers like EMTs and firefighters to reach the people who need their help. I led efforts to help unhoused individuals move off the streets by building the city's first municipal homeless shelter and investing in mental health resources and domestic violence support to address the root causes of homelessness. We've proven that when neighbors come together, the possibilities are endless. I'm ready to bring this same spirit of unity and collaboration to our entire city. That's why I'm asking for your vote. Let's work together and create a city where no neighborhood is left behind and everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Thank you. I know what it's like to have unstable housing. We have too many families living one crisis away from an eviction. That's why I led efforts to build the city's first municipal homeless shelter and invested in mental health services to address root causes. I want to see a Long Beach housing promise where every senior and every student on free and reduced lunch has access to the affordable housing that we build in our city. As mayor, I'll work hard every day to make sure we address the rising cost of housing in our city. Hi everyone, my name is Susie Price and I'm currently a council member in the city of Long Beach. I am running to be the next mayor of this beautiful city. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I came to this country at the age of seven with my mother. We left behind my father and my three-year-old sister and we were divided as a family because of a political revolution. My mother and I worked really hard to learn what it meant to succeed in this country. Our goal in life was to have a house with no shared walls and a backyard because that's something that we didn't have the benefit of during my entire childhood years. We worked really hard towards that dream. My mother purchased her first home the year I went to Cal State Long Beach. Cal State Long Beach gave me the opportunity to learn about this great city. I had the privilege to be student body president there. And now this is a place where my family and I have called home. This is a place where we have laid our roots. I'm running for mayor because as I go out into this community and meet people from all over this city, I know that there are many people who have experiences in life similar to mine. Many people who are struggling to figure out how to succeed in the world around them and how to make their government work for them. I'm running for mayor because as I talk with people throughout the city, I know that they want us to be less about talk and more about delivering results on things like public safety because everybody wants to feel safe on things like how we address the homeless crisis with solutions that actually work, practical things that make a difference, and how we attract businesses and developers to come to this town so that they can provide jobs and opportunities for growth for every person in this community. I'm running for mayor because we are a city that has so much more in common than we have differences. And I wanna make sure that every resident in this city feels supported by their government regardless of where they live and regardless of what their needs are. As a city, we should be delivering core services to every single resident every single day in the best way that we can. Rising rents are a huge issue in the city of Long Beach and throughout the nation. As mayor, I will make sure that we use our relief funds to get the rental payments that are still on the docket processed quickly. I will also try to double the number of landlords that we have who are working with our Section 8 program through our housing authority so that we have more landlords participating in that program. And three, I will make sure that we do everything that we can to have more inclusionary and affordable housing as part of our city's plan. And that's not gonna start when I'm mayor, it's gonna start now. We at PADNET would like to thank all the Long Beach mayoral candidates for sharing their statements and responses, as well as the other candidates running in this election for their prospective offices and for participating in this important episode of PADNET Presents. This is just one episode of a four-part election special. 
please visit padnet.tv slash schedule to view the broadcast and for more information about episodes featuring the candidates running for the Long Beach City Council Districts 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, as well as City Attorney, City Auditor, and City Prosecutor. We sincerely hope you find our efforts helpful to better inform you about the upcoming election. And remember to vote on Tuesday, June 7th. That concludes our show for today. Thank you for watching this special election episode of Padnet Presents.